Hey, what's wrong? Is it is it Stone Cold? Is he in trouble? Should I go? Hey, I can go. Jason's some... fine. He's fine. Or at least that's what he says. Anyway. I I detect an element of doubt. <laughs> No, Jason, Jason and I, we had a great night last night, and then I woke up this morning and he was gone. No phone call, no note, no nothing. He's probably just busy, yeah. I don't know. Spinelli, I have a bad feeling. Jason doesn't discuss his feelings often, but he's torn up inside, and I think I understand. I think I know why. Uh, I agree. Stone Cold is definitely haunted by something. Do you know what? Uh... What's, uh, what's going on? That's my question. Jason, why did you just take off on me like that? Samantha's been pretty worried about what's bothering you. So I was thinking it might be a good time to take off the battle armor and get real with her. Not that I'm an expert on women or anything, but I am trying to be more in touch because of the blonde one and all. Okay, I'll be going now. Uh, sorry if I worried you. I have certainly woken up plenty of times and you've been gone, but this is different. I can see the pain in your eyes, Jason. You're in agony and you won't open up to me. And don't forget, I think, I think I understand what you've lost. You do? You might not think that I can understand how much losing Alan meant to you. But Jason, I mean, I have a point of reference. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about my daughter and how losing her, what that meant to me and, and the fact that I will never, ever be able to have another. And even though you may not show it, when you found out, I think it hit you just as hard and here I am, I'm rambling again and all I want to tell you is that I want to help you. I want to help you the same way that you've always helped me. But my hands are tied. Unless you let me in, so I am begging you, Jason, please. Please. Come on, let me in. I think you might be the only person in the world that Jason would actually listen to. You're not imagining things. Something's going on with me, but... I... can't put it into words. Will you try? It's just a space. An emptiness that's always gonna be inside of me. around and move forward, you know, kind of like you have. And there's nothing I can do to make losing your baby easier for you. <sighs> Just took time, and that's, that's what I need. I understand. And writing, you know, it helps me. The wind and clear my head. I had to lay my bike down, it's fine. Okay, well, you need a doctor to check this out. Can you please humor me and have a doctor check it out, Jason, okay, please? Okay, okay, okay. I wish I could heal your heart that easy. Will you help me? I don't know you take on every challenge that life throws at you. this TV show. You know what's ironic? I 
was able to take this job because I couldn't get pregnant. Because I don't have the responsibility of the one thing that I want most in this world. You think I could uh, see a doctor? Don't tell me, a bullet wound? Actually, I took a spill on my bike. Wait right here. Technicians gonna turn me upside down or shake me. Well, for all the good it would have done. Kids determined not to show itself. All right, little one, we'll have it your way. We don't know whether you're a boy or a group, but at least we know here she's healthy. Yeah, and stubborn. This kid is Spencer all the way. <laughs>